Little May Gray out there today, Sean. <laughs> yeah, just a little. Uh, definitely along the coastline. But if you were inland, there was plenty of sunshine. And as we take you to the top of San Miguel Mountain, look towards the west, you can see that marine layer rolling in. But San Miguel Mountain, just a, a little bit south and east of Rancho San Diego. And so the sun's still out around that part of the county. And the temperatures really reflected where the sun was today as far as the daytime highs. We're looking at temperatures, places like Escondido at 78, 77 in Ramon. 76 for the folks in Valley Center and along the coastline it was 64 in Del Mar 64 as well in Oceanside and Carlsbad and downtown San Diego Chula Vista two degrees warmer at 66 out in the desert uh, no May gray but the influence of the onshore flow kept temperatures below 100 degrees now here's what we can expect the onshore flow keeps May gray in control right on through the rest of the work week. Expect gusty winds over the mountains and deserts and then temperatures by the start of next week. So we're talking Sunday, Monday start to warm up a little bit, but not dramatically. So nothing like we saw uh, just uh, four or five days ago. We're talking about 80s in the downtown area. And speaking of that, that's a live look from Mount Soledad winds right now. Very light out of the west southwest at eight miles per hour. We've cooled down to 62 degrees from that daytime high humidity where it should be for this time of year at 72%. There's a combination of two swells rolling out there right now. Some energy coming from the southern hemisphere uh, storm off of New Zealand about eight days ago, and then we've got a little bit of a westerly impulse. So anywhere from, say, two to four feet, so waist to chest high, maybe a, a slightly bigger set at the best southwesterly breaks in the tide. High in the afternoon at 1246, but it is uh, a major league low, uh, negative one. 1.6 just after 6 a.m. Toasty out in the deserts right now. Phoenix 99, 96 in uh, Tucson, 95 in Las Vegas, and up in the Sierra Nevada. How nice would that to be on Lake Tahoe right now with its 72 degrees in Truckee. Los Angeles at the Civic Center, 63 degrees. High pressure moves out of the region. Here's why we're staying cool and the strong onshore flow. These areas of low pressure continue to move through the Pacific Northwest. Now this is that high pressure that will start to wedge in by the first part of the weekend, but it won't affect our temperatures until the second half. So we stay slightly below average and then start to see temperatures get close to the average, which is 69 degrees over the past 30 years. And the inland microclimates, you'll see plenty of sunshine over the next couple days. The marine layer slightly enhanced by the time we get to Friday into Saturday, but lots of sunshine in the mountains and deserts. And as you would expect, temperatures always toasty out in the deserts this time of year and plenty of sun up in the mountains. Time for your weather quiz. Let's take a look at what we've got for you here. What happens when a hurricane moves over land? Now remember where a hurricane starts, it gets stronger, it gets weaker, it immediately disappear, disappears or dissipates, or it turns into a tornado. Just head on over to cbs8.com slash weather quiz to make your intelligent selection. <laughs> you can win uh, two family four packs of tickets to see Disney The Lion King opening night Wednesday, August 24th at the San Diego Civic Theater. That would be a one heck of a night out for the family. The prize is sponsored by Corky's Pest Control. Now get your new weather quiz each and every day here at 7 a.m. and on this newscast.